Now to create a new layout, all you're gonna do is go up here and click add layout and choose your layout model. Uh, most of the time, you're just gonna have a single layout model that you're working with, um, as you really only need one zone to drag and drop uh, your components into, though you may encounter uh, some templates where you have more than one content zone. Um, one example of that would be if you have a website where you have a main content zone that you wanna differentiate from say a sidebar content zone um, that would have separate components added to it. So we'll go ahead and add a new layout model here, add a layout title. And we'll hit save. And this is gonna generate the new layout for us to work with. There we go. As you can see, because I was on the new section, because I added a new layout, it's gonna add that as a child to uh, the, uh, to my existing news layout. So that'll appear below news within the sitemap. Um, and if I wanted to add a new uh, parent layout, then I would just do that from the main layout section here and it would add it below home news, et cetera. So while we're building a layout, uh, we'll go through the different sections here on the right-hand side uh, that you have to work with. So we have our properties where you can switch back and forth between uh, static, dynamic, or if you want to switch it to a folder or a link. We have the model that the current layout is using. Below that, you have the option to enable approvals for this layout if you want uh, to add a secondary approval step uh, before any content is pushed out uh, to your live digital solution. The option to make this a secure layout on the website or exclude it from the layout cache. And then we have some general information for your layout below that, including the URL, layout and version IDs, the current state, who it was modified by and when, and any release or pull date if one has been set for that layout. The next tab we'll look at is the SEO tab. So here's where you can edit your layout title, your layout path, any menu text for your layout and how it will appear in your sitemap. Uh, whether or not you want the sitemap visible on your menu, or rather whether you want this layout visible uh, on your site menu, and whether you want it visible in the sitemap that's shared with uh, search engines. And below that, you have your meta tags, meta keywords, uh, description, and additional header markup if necessary. And the very top one here is your activity feed. Um, so we'll have some changes coming to this in the near future, which are really exciting. Um, but as it stands right now, your activity feed will show any comments that have been left on here uh, by other people who might have worked in the layout, uh, where you can add comments if you wanna add some context for changes that you might have made, and also see previous versions of the layout that you're working on. So you can always uh, select it, you can view the different versions and revert back to a previous version if necessary. Below here, we can see the option to add components. So this is where we're actually going to drag and drop components to our layout in order to uh, build and organize that layout the way that we want. So here you have your components library. You can search if you wanna filter through them and your components will have been uh, defined and added by um, a developer or car uh, content architecture in advance. Uh, so if any changes need to be made to a component uh, or you need any updates made to them, you would need to reach out to a developer to have that done uh, as there has to be uh, code that exists in the front end in order for these co uh, components to actually be displayed once they're added. So as an example here, we have a text block with image, so we can just drag and drop that over here and it's automatically gonna add that component to our layout. And below the title of the component, you can also see a context description as well that'll give you a little bit more information as to what this is going to give you when you add it uh, to your layout. Once your component's added, you can drag and drop them here to reorganize them in whatever order you want. And to add uh, content to that component, you just click on it, click into it, and it's gonna act like a uh, content item in the sense that it has various fields that have been defined for you as a content editor to fill out. So in this example, we have uh, a tagline. We can add one here, and then we can add in a title. Uh, you can double click to see previous titles that you might have added or add a new one. And we'll call this just layout webinar. Below that, we would have the option uh, in this 
specific component to add an asset. So we can browse our existing assets here, or we can upload a new one if we wanted. So we'll just go in here, add an existing logo that we have, and add the selected item, add in some alt text. What a cool bus. And then here we have the option uh, that's been designated for us to have the image appear on the right or left-hand side of the text that we're adding. Uh, next, we'd have the option to add a primary button or call to action. So we could add a button if we wanted to, uh, designate which link uh, or URL we want that button to go to and what we want the button to say, then whether or not we want it to open in a new window. The next thing we have is a rich text editor where we can add some content. And once that's done, you can go ahead and hit save. And as long as previews have been set up um, in your instance, which we highly recommend, you would have the option to click the drop down there and go ahead and preview what that's going to look like on your site before you actually uh, publish it and push those uh, out to your uh, website. Once you've previewed it and you're happy with how it looks, you would be able to go ahead and hit publish. And you have the option here as well if you want to schedule a release date as to when you want that to go out. Maybe it's a press release, something like that, that you want to go out at a specific date. You can schedule that here, as well as add in an expiry date for when you want that layout to automatically be unpublished and come down. Otherwise, you can just go ahead, hit publish, and it will publish that to your website for you. Uh, one thing we would note is in the top right here, we do have a few other properties. Um, in this three dot menu item that you can see here. So you can also actually uh, access the option to schedule your pages um, in the top right here as well. Add security for your pages, manage the alerts. Uh, you do have the option, or sorry, I should say layouts. Still switching back and forth between that old terminology. Um, and then you have the option to copy a layout as well if you want to uh, duplicate it and then edit that content rather than having to remake an entire layout, um, as well as the option to delete a layout. And I would stress being careful when deleting a layout. Um, unlike content items and assets, we don't have a recycle bin for layouts. So when a layout is deleted, um, it is deleted, and you aren't able to recover it in the instance. Um, but if, for example, you uh, delete something super important by mistake, you can always reach out to uh, support, and we can see if that's something that we can recover for you.